Hey, baby. What's up? Nothing. I just got back from work. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, it was a long day. We didn't really have much to do, but still it was like really busy in the beginning and I'm just worn out, super cold and oh, I'm just going through it. No, it's, I have tomorrow and then I'm off for a while. Just a holiday break, you know? Mm-hmm. And what about you? How's everything? Really? <sighs> well, you know that if it was up to me, I'd be there right now. It's something. I just, I hate this so much. I really do. Just not being able to see you all the time. I I know I can FaceTime you. I know that we can send pictures, but I, f I miss you so much. So much. I miss you, baby. I mean it. It's like every night I just get so freaking mad because I'm just like, I should be holding you and you should be holding me and we should be holding each other. <laughs> I know. I've been putting in so much overtime, too, because I am so serious about us not doing this next year. I mean it. I'm saving every single penny. I even stopped buying my coffee every day just so I can make this happen quicker. Yeah, I felt like the $8 coffees was kind of not a smart decision financially. Yeah. I don't know. Any time that I find myself getting upset because I miss you, I just think of how much this era of our relationship will pay off in the end. Yeah, with long distance and all that, I feel like I would bet money that most long distance relationships last longer than normal everyday relationships. Yeah, because we spend so much time apart that anytime we do see each other, it's like with intention. Like we don't have stupid petty fights like normal couples anytime we see each other we just uh, ow I'm in so much pain no I'm fine I'm fine I'm just saying that like I feel like regular couples compared to long distance couples are different like with regular couples I don't think that after the honeymoon stage, you really appreciate the time that you have with who you're with. I feel like with long distance relationships, we have intention in everything that we do. Like we make plans and we have a whole itinerary whenever we're seeing each other of all the things that we're going to do. And given I can't see you every single day, I just have to figure out more ways to love you. And I have, and I'm so excited to just experience us together, one room. Like, I'm so excited for that part of our lives. And just think about it. Like, we've spent this long apart, and we still love each other, and I'm still falling in love with you harder and harder every single day. And I don't know. It's like it can only go up from here because I feel like, what we have right now is like pure. There's no, oh, I love you because you do this for me every single day. Or, 
whatever you could possibly add to my life in person that you can't do over the phone, you know, like those mean so much more. I know that it's not anything that I'm doing for you because I'm not doing anything for you. I just talk to you and like, that's enough. You love me for me and I love you for you. And I don't know. I'm just really excited to see what the other half is like. (laughs) Baby, don't, don't compliment me right now. I'm trying to express myself. I'm not nervous. I don't sound nervous. I just, I still get like shy around you a little bit. And like, you know how I said I don't really express my emotions like that. But I don't know. With you, I just feel comfortable. I feel safe. I feel heard. I feel loved. And this is more than I've ever experienced. Honestly, like I might as well have been in long distance relationships before because it just wasn't there. And with you, it's like, I wake up and I just pray for the day that I can look to my right and see you there. Like That's what I look forward to every morning. I want to talk to you. I want to wake up a little bit earlier than you and make some breakfast or even make breakfast together and then cook some dinner every single day. Like I'm just, I'm so excited just to chill on the couch and watch TV or play video games together or watch movies or just everything. Like, I remember I had a dream last night and we were decorating our first apartment and it was so funny because you just like hated everything that I was doing and I didn't care and we ended up I probably shouldn't say this, but, you know, the night kind of turned a different direction and it was a great one. Like I woke up and like I had to reach for the wipes. It was that bad. Like you really, you really, um, did your thing in my dream. (laughs) Gosh, it's been so long that like the dreams I have about us, it's like, it feels so real. And I just, I can't wait for them to actually be our reality. Yeah, I know. I know. What do you think is going to happen when I come out there? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, I definitely want to go to every single coffee shop. Like, that's something that we have to do. When you come here, we have to go to every single coffee shop. I'm taking you to my favorite ice cream shop. We have to go. We have to go. We're going to get milkshakes, and we're going to sit in the car like we did on our first date. And then I'll show you all the cool spots in the city And then I say this now, but like realistically, when you come, I kind of just want to, I don't want to leave the bed with you. I don't. I just want to lay there all day and cuddle because I think that's what I need. I've been having headaches and I just think to myself, like a forehead kiss from you would totally fix this. (laughs) I am not dramatic. But seriously, it's not the same over the phone. Mm-mm. I want to hold you and kiss you and hug you and so many other things that I can't say over this phone. It just wouldn't be right. <laughs> oh, but I am super hungry right now. You heard that? That was my stomach. Yeah, it's growling. 
I don't know. I think I'll probably make something to eat really quick and then get to bed. Yeah, I actually have to go in an hour early tomorrow. What? I wanted to talk to you. That's why. So what if I'm getting five hours of sleep? I'll be fine, babe. I will. Oh. Okay. You have to promise, though, if you want me to get off the phone now, then I'll call you when I drive to work. Pinky promise. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go then. Mm hmm. All right. I love you. I love you so much, baby. Oh my gosh, my stomach is going crazy. All right, baby. Bye.